Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Christmas stocking. Hi, I'm Rosanna from Wild Crochet and today I'm going to be sharing with you the first in a series of four free Christmas crochet patterns I'm going to be sharing with you throughout the month of November. For today's tutorial, we're going to be making a Christmas crochet stocking. And for this tutorial, you will need some fingering weight yarn and a three mil crochet hook. As per usual, there is a full written photo tutorial on my blog and there is a link down below where you can access that tutorial and you can also access my other free crochet patterns and crochet knowledge. If you enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, if you stick around to the end of the video, you'll get a sneak peek at next week's free crochet pattern. So let's get started. For this example, I'm going to start with a, a more of a worsted weighted yarn and a four mil crochet hook. For row one, we're going to make a magic circle. So tail in front, yarn over, make a cross, and then insert your hook under the first hook and pick up your yarn and pull through. Now remove your fingers. And there's your magic circle. Okay, so row one, we'll chain one. I'm going to add six single crochet into the first row. There we go. Now we just close this circle. So I just pull gently on the tail and it will close. For row two, I'm going to continue in the spiral and I'm going to single crochet over my tail so I don't have any end to weave in. So row two, I'm going to add two single crochet into every stitch. So that'd be 12 in total. From row three onwards, we're going to be switching to a waistcoat stitch, and this will create the pearl effect within the sock. So, to create a waistcoat stitch, instead of going into our stitch as normal here, we're actually going to go down into the V of the stitch in between it. So our stitches are lined vertically. So our first one, we're going to have one. At the moment it's very difficult to see but as the rows grow you will see the knit like stitch so into my next one which is just here and here is the V can you see that V there I'm going to go in there and I'm going to add two stitches into this one one two okay so our pattern will be single crochet, single crochet increase. So let's continue, because I've done three stitches so far. So now I'll do the next one. So it'll be single crochet into the V. Now I'm gonna single crochet increase into the next V just here. Sorry, this is not as clear. It's quite difficult to get this really in focus. There we go, just here. So I'll do a single crochet increase. And you see it's just in the center of that V. So continue around over the next eight stitches with single crochet, single crochet increase until you get to the beginning. At the end of this row, you will have 18 stitches. So here I am at the end of row three, and you can look carefully, you can see my stitches are directly on top of each other. Okay, for row four, we're gonna continue again in our spiral, and our pattern will be single crochet in the first stitch. So again, into the V. Now, as you do this, the stitch becomes actually much tighter than a normal 
crochet stitch because you're going halfway down into the fabric so it is going to be a little bit tricky this is why I suggest to use a larger hook than what is recommended for your yarn so it, you can do it with a bit more ease into the next stitch we're going to add a single crochet increase that's two into the same stitch and the third one will be a single crochet so our pattern is single crochet, single crochet increase, single crochet. Okay, so at the end of this row, you'll have 24. So single crochet, single crochet increase, single crochet, and continue all the way around. Okay, here I am at the end of row four. So I've got 24 stitches in total. Okay. For our next row and for the next 18 rows we're going to be adding a single crochet into every single stitch. Now as working in the spiral I would recommend using a stitch marker at the beginning of each row. So I'll start the first few stitches with you. So again it's into the V. Now from here onwards it will. So again it's stitching into the V. From here onwards it will start to get easier. To add your stitches. So pick up your yarn through and yarn over and just continue for 18 rows. So here is my stocking so far and I've done my 18 rows and now you can clearly see it looks like a knit stitch. So now let's start the heel. Okay, for our heel, we're going to work it over half of the stitches of the row, so in total it'll be over 12 stitches. So for row one, we're going to do four single crochets, sorry, four waistcoat stitches, so into the V. Two, three, and four. And in our next four stitches, we're going to add four half double crochets. Again into the V, just to keep that consistency. One, two, three, and four. And then finally, we're going to add four waistcoat stitch. That's one, two, three, and four. Okay, so that's our first stitch row done, and you can see it's slightly raised. Now for row 20, we're going to turn our work. For the heel, we will be turning, so chain one, and turn okay try and get this in focus now we're going to try and continue in the waistcoat stitch if you can't because you're working from the back it's a bit too difficult to see continue with a normal single crochet so what we're going to do is go in between the V so there's one and two sorry there's four stitches here we're going to do a repeat of our previous row three and four and next we'll continue with four half double crochet so yarn over and we're going to go into the top of the stitch as we would usually in crochet now not into the post so that's one two three, four. Okay, for our next stitch, we're gonna go down into the V, so not into this one, this was our half double crochet. Here we go, here. And we're going to do four waistcoat stitches. One, two, three, 
three and finally four and that is our row two done i'm sorry it's not so clear it's a bit difficult because of the nature of the sock okay chain one and row three we're going to turn over okay for this row we are going to do a single crochet decrease so we've chained one so we're going to go into our stitch into the v pick up your yarn and then go into your next v into your next v so i've got three loops on my hook yarn over pull through all three to create one stitch i'm going to do two single crochet And then four half double crochet. Two, three, <coughs> four. Okay, for our final four stitches, we're going to do. For our final four stitches, we're going to do two single crochet into the V. One, two, and then a single crochet decrease to decrease the last one to three stitches just to match the front. There we go. Okay, chain one and turn. And we will do three single crochet. Don't worry if you can't get into the V because they are difficult to see, especially the first one. Just continue as a normal single crochet. So our three single crochet, one, two, three, four half double crochets, one, two, three and four and finally one two three single crochet chain one and turn again we're going to start with a decrease at the beginning of our stitch just pick up my loop okay so we're going to do a single crochet decrease I find the V that's my single crochet decrease and then another moss uh, waistcoat stitch so now I'm down to two stitches four half double crochet then I'm going to do one waistcoat and then a waistcoat decrease in the last two Okay, there we go. Total, I have eight stitches. Chain one, ten. So this will be two. Two waistcoat stitches. One, two, four half double crochet. I hope by now you're sort of getting the pattern I'm going for. So it's gradually decreasing on the corners each each second row and two um, waistcoat stitches chain one and turn okay our last decrease row so single crochet decrease 
four half double crochet one two three four and single crochet decrease here okay our last wrong side so chain one and it will just be one waistcoat stitch four half double crochets and one single crochet okay so here is our heel so far so you can see we've got a curve forming for the heel now what we're going to do now we're going to continue from here we're going to continue now in this in a circle and connect all our stitches so we've got six stitches over here so we're going to have to create six stitches in total on between these two sides so we're going to need three stitches here and three stitches on the opposite side so we're going to create six slip stitches down the side of this heel try and get them evenly as you can all the way down two there is no set places just try and get six stitches all the way down as evenly as you can And you see my last one was in the stitch before the turn so we're going to chain one and we're going to turn now we're on the right side of the fabric we're going to do our spiral once again so I'm going to do single crochet decrease between these slip stitches so I have six I'm going to create three single crochets here so there's my first and I'm going to slip stitch a uh, single crochet decrease into the next two slip stitches I made and once again to create my third and final stitch down this side and then I'll go okay I've got to the top so now what I'm going to do is single crochets in the next six stitches I'm not doing the waistcoat stitch just for ease of this row so there's my first now into my four half double crochets I'm going to add single crochets so that's all my half double crochets done and then a single crochet in the next now we're down to the second side of the heel and we're going to create three single crochet decreases over here as we did on the other side we had six slip stitches we're going to create that effect so it's balanced so there's one I'm going to do one here as well it's just about the middle of the heel there's my second stitch and I'll do one more here to bring me down To the final section we're going to continue now adding these 12 stitches so I'm going to go straight into here if I can and continue with the waistcoat, waistcoat stitch in the next 12 stitches when you get to the end of your 12 stitches there's going to be a little gap just continue in the spiral okay so here is the whole circle of my sock created continue in the spiral with a waistcoat stitch for the next 20 stitches here is my crochet stocking after I've just done 10 rows now I'm just going to show you for example now the final row instead of finishing the whole stocking Okay, so I've done 10 rows. If you would like to do a contrasting cuff, do 15 rows and then switch to another yarn because we will be folding 
over the stocking to create this edge. Okay. So here I've just changed for the last row, but you can change for the last five rows to a contrasting yarn here. Okay, let's show you the final row. So for our final row, I finished my 20 rows of waistcoat stitch. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch as a normal single crochet to fasten off that final row. And for our final row, I'm going to chain one and I'm going to single crochet as I normally would in every single stitch. So a normal single crochet, just hook through, yarn over and pull through two loops. So hook through, yarn over through two loops. And I'll continue that all the way around. And once I get to the beginning, so I've done 24 stitches, I'll slip stitch in and fasten off. Once you finish, your Christmas stocking will look like this. And mine is about overall length, about 15 centimeters. And for next week's free Christmas pattern, I will be showing you how to make crochet holly and berries. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. As per usual, there is a full written photo tutorial on my blog and there is a link down below where you can access that full pattern. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and join me again next week for the next free Christmas crochet pattern. Stay safe. Bye.